What is going on gamers? Avatrix here and today I am going to give you a sneak peek into the background of how I make my videos. Now I've gotten a lot of people asking me, you know, what would be the best thing to use, etc. Now I can't really answer that as far as what's the best thing to use because a lot of people use very, you know, various different things. But I'll show you the program that I use and how I go about making the videos. And uh, also after this video, if you guys want, I can also do a similar video on how I make my thumbnails. Just in case, uh, you know, some of you are looking to make your own videos or start YouTube, etc. Now the program that you're seeing right here here is called Wondershare Filmora. I'll go ahead and leave a link down to their website. Um, this It's not a free program. You do have to play, uh, pay a monthly fee. Uh, it's not really much, but I, I do think that it is definitely worth it and uh, it's worth your money. Absolutely. Now, on the top here, the main two things that you want to pay attention to is import and record. Now, of course, record is where you would actually record the gameplay. I use Memu as my uh, as my emulator, Memu, Mimu, whatever you want to call it, uh, and I use it with this record PC screen. Now, the other thing is when you go to import, you can import media files, and this is where you would import your intro, your outro, the video that you record using this. You can go ahead and put it right here. And then other things like music, pictures that you want to add on the video, etc. Right before you pretty much put it all together. Now, we have our intro, we have our outro, we have a video. Now, this is a video, this is an old video that I picked, uh, just a random video, so I don't really know what it is even. But we will be using that one. Then I have the music that a lot of you guys probably already know what it is. Let me go ahead and play it for you so you guys recall right now. and stop all right so you know the music you have the music and then you have a picture because I'm gonna go sh show you how you can also add pictures to the video because essentially we, what we're going to be doing is putting it all together now we have all the essential parts now is all about putting it together and this is actually fairly easy the way that I do it is first of all I click on the intro and I drag it right down here there it is so now I have my intro that's the only video I have now, of course, next next thing we're going to do is add the actual recording the same way we drag it down and there. Now what we have is the intro with the video starting right after the intro, so check this out. There we go. Now notice, there is no voice on that one. That means that I, did, I, I recorded it, but I never put any, uh, any voice recording. So when that happens, when you just have a video with no voice recording, you can actually go right here and record a voiceover. And once you start that, then the video will play just like this uh, in regular pace. And then it will pick up whatever you are, you are saying at the time. So you can do a video, you can do a recording, and then later on come back and add your own uh, voice recording. Or you can just record it while recording your voice at the same time. It doesn't really matter. Whichever way you prefer, um, it's, it's just going to be up to you. Now, we have the intro. We have, we have the video. Now, we'll go, go ahead and add the outro, of course. So now we have the beginning, the middle, and the end all together. Okay? So let's go ahead and check it out. Now we get to the outro, and that's, that's how pretty much we do it right here. There it is. So we have the video pretty much all set up, okay? Now, how do I add the music? The music is actually the very same way. You click on the music, you drag it down, and then there you go. Now, of course, I would add a little bit more because it doesn't fit the whole video, but you pretty much get the gist. Now, if you want the video to match this song, all you have to do is go like this and then drag it this way, and then the video would stop right where the song stops. Now, if you want to do it the other way, you can always drag more music and keep adding on. And then if you want the music to stop right where the ending is, you just click on the music that ends and then drag it down to match the ending right there. So you see, that's, that's how that would work. And that's how on the longer videos, I can add different music, you know, to fit the whole length of the video. Now, here's one thing, though, that you have to keep in mind. When you add these songs they're going to be at 100% volume, meaning that a lot of times it is going to drown out your own voice. So let me go ahead and play it and show you.
very very loud okay so what I do is I go ahead and edit the volume this is now this is for me my preference and my voice the volume that I choose for most of my songs is five out of a hundred now I know you might think that that is really really low but that is actually the perfect volume for it to be background music not to drown out my voice and to not um, you know stand out in the video now fade in and fade out I like to put it right around in the middle and what that does is it doesn't make the song start right at the beginning it kinda gives it some some volume some time to kinda pick up and some volume be you know before it goes out so I like to put that right in the middle now when you have two songs like this you gotta make sure that you do it for both if not one is gonna be super loud there you go so now that we've taken care we've taken care of the songs let me let me go ahead and play it back there it goes so now we have the video, we have the song, we have the intro and the outro, we're pretty much done. Now in this case what I would do is I would do a, a voiceover, but of course we're not going to be doing that because it's not an actual video that I'm going to release. But the voiceover, when you go ahead and put the voiceover, it'll go right underneath the, the music and you can edit that as well as far as the sound. So keep all of that in mind. Now with videos like this, you can edit them right from here. So for instance, let's say let's say that right from this victory screen and let me go ahead and go down here right in this victory screen that I just want to skip right to the beginning of the next fight right so let, I'll go ahead and hit this cut button right here and then now I have two split videos that I'm working with okay so now that we have that split let me go ahead and play it until the next fight starts and we're going to be deleting that completely let's see you see all this dead time right here of just waiting around? I'm trying to get rid of that, right? So here we go. I'm looking for an opponent, I'm guessing. There we go. So I found my opponent. Picking my team. And there it goes. The fight just started. So that's exactly what I wanted, right? So now what I'll do is I'll hit the cut button again. And now I have three videos. I have the, the one before, the middle that I'm trying to cut, and then the one after. So now I'll go to the middle one and I'll just essentially, I'll just delete it. There we go. Delete. Now check it out. Look how it looks now. Skips right to the next five, but there's something missing, isn't there? There's just, it's just too abrupt. It just, it, it goes through, it, a lot of people might not pick up that there is another fight. So to alleviate that, what I would do is I would go to transitions and there is a lot of transitions here just depends on what you want to use we can just we can just go ahead and keep it simple we'll use a blind transition and then the same way we did everything else we'll just drag it right to the middle of that and now you'll see that the transition is much smoother and a lot of people are going to pick up much easier that we're moving on to the next fight so watch this boom you see the transition so now people understand okay we are in the next fight but keep this in mind we just deleted some of the videos so that means that the music is now going to be off but remember that is easily fixable by just clicking on the music and dragging it back to fit there it goes perfect 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 so you can since this is lost battlefield I can pretty much do that one for every single fight just to skip the dead time in between but let's say that you wanted to add pictures now now this is why I have my Centaur Chieftain right here to show you where you can add pictures, uh, information, etc. So pictures, same way, you will just drag it down wherever you want it. Let's just put it right here, why not, right? And there we go. Now, of course, it's too big, right? Not a problem. You go right to the screen, you'll drag it down. A lot of dragging, right? But that makes it a lot easier than in a lot of other places. So you go ahead and put it whatever size you want wherever you want in the screen and let's go ahead and play it it's right in the screen right and now it's gonna disappear now if you want it to be longer you can use this button right here to zoom in and out that way it's easier for you and if you want it to be longer you just go ahead and click and drag however long you want it or however short doesn't matter just depending on what you what you want now for pictures, you can add an infinite amount of pictures. I've never really run into a problem where I have too many pictures and whatnot. So that is always good. 
So now we have the intro, we have the video, we have the outro, we have music, we have pictures, we have transitions. I would have done the voiceover, but of course I'm recording one now, so I can't do two things at once. So once you have the voiceover, we have the picture, we have all of that. All I have to do is hit export. There is actually a YouTube option here. You log in through your YouTube, you hit export, and it'll export the video straight to your YouTube. You have to do nothing else. Once you go to once it goes to your YouTube, all you have to do is title it. If you don't do it directly through this app, which I don't, I do everything through YouTube. Once it's the videos on YouTube, I title it, I put all the description, I put the tags, and then I just go ahead and make it public. Now would it be easier to just go ahead, hit record, record something, and then just upload it without anything else? Absolutely. But this is, you know, this is more of a behind the scenes of what I do, how I do it, and what I use. And uh, it's actually really, really awesome. You can, of course, as you see here, you can put text the same way that you would use a picture. There's just so many things that you can do. You can slow, you can slow things down. Watch this. This fight right here, we're going to slow it down. You see how every, everything is going normal speed? Okay. So we want to slow that down. So let's go ahead and cut it. Just until there. Just to show you. Go ahead and cut it again. And then we'll edit it. And then the speed, I want it to be slower. Maybe because we're trying to find a special detail or something. So there we go. Now we're going absolutely slower. There we go. And... Now you, it's like I was showing you how the procs worked. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much a background, a little sneak peek on how I do my videos, what I do. Um, like I said, if you want to see how I make my thumbnails, I can also make a video of that. I know it's not Castle Clash content and it's not for everybody. Not, you know, not a lot of people really care about this stuff. But I figured a lot of people might be interested in it, so I make a video on it. Um, but yeah, if you have if you have any other questions regarding what else I use and how else I do other things, let me know. Maybe I'll make a video on that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and until later, bye.